There is word an American citizen who for a long time was believed to be a hostage was instead killed in the attack on Israel by Hamas on October 7th. His body held by Hamas in Gaza ever since. Matt Gutman from Israel tonight. Tonight, the IDF announcing dual citizen Itai Chen, one of several American hostages believed alive in Gaza, was actually killed in fighting during Hamas's October 7th rampage. Hamas then taking the 19-year-old soldier's body into Gaza. In the weeks after the attack, we spoke to his father. Ruby, are you hopeful that you will ever see your son again? No, oh, that's no, no option to think otherwise. I am positive that I will see him back again. With the hostage release and ceasefire deal stalling last week, tonight Israel's prime minister again insisting that Israel will invade the southern Gazan city of Rafah, where 1.5 million people are seeking shelter and hunger is epidemic. That is aid to Gaza now arriving from land, air and sea. For the first time, a ship is en route to deliver aid directly to Gaza. Working in coordination with the Israeli military, the NGO World Central Kitchen is sending 200 tons of rice, beans, flour and proteins set to arrive as early as tomorrow. Our team in Gaza filming trucks carrying landfill to northern Gaza to build this makeshift anchorage. Once this gets there, it'll be offloaded by a crane, it'll be put on trucks and we'll be taking that into northern Gaza. And the U.S. set to build another temporary pier off the coast of Gaza. Hours ago, 500 U.S. troops deploying from Virginia. David, back to that World Central Kitchen aid ship. It's part of a major pilot program approved by Israel. And the hope is to start a maritime convoy of ships delivering aid directly to northern Gaza, where the hunger is most severe. David. All right, Matt Gupman in Jerusalem. Thanks, Matt. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.